After years away from theaters, the Blade franchise is coming back, but it has a new leading man. Why did Marvel decide to go with Mahershala Ali as its new Blade instead of sticking with Wesley Snipes? While we wait for the character's Phase 5 MCU revival, he is everything we know. By August of 2019, Wesley Snipes will be 57 years old. Granted, Snipes has aged well, and we're willing to bet the guy who gave us the martial arts moves we saw in his many action flicks can still throw a mean kick. Also, age is meaning less and less these days when it comes to casting. Harrison Ford was 65 when Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull was released in theaters, and even though he's now in his late 70s, he'll return to the role again in Indiana Jones 5. Not to mention the impressive advances in de-aging technology, something Marvel has already used successfully a number of times for impressive results. Do me a favor, try not to burn the house down before Monday. Okay, so it's Monday. That is good to know. I will plan my toga party accordingly. But there are differences between those examples and the potential of casting Snipes as Blade. The most glaring issue being that Blade's part vampire. A 77-year-old can play Indiana Jones because Indy's human. In the first Blade film series, it's established Blade ages normally. But in the comics, while Blade isn't immortal like full vampires, he ages slower than humans. The new Blade films may be closer to the comics in this way. If so, having a 57-year-old half-vampire who looks like he's 57 doesn't work. Largely thanks to a 2012 AV Club interview with Patton Oswalt about his most memorable roles, Wesley Snipes' supposed behavior on the set of Blade Trinity has become absolutely hilariously infamous. If you just sit and watch Blade <laughs> Trinity, it's a D minus. It just doesn't work. <laughs> but if you know what they went through to get that movie made, yeah. it is an A. Snipes and Trinity director David Goyer didn't get along behind the camera. According to Oswald, Snipes accused Goyer of racism and at one point sat down with the director and tried to convince him to quit. Only to have Goyer retort that since they'd already filmed all of Snipes' close ups and could use a stand in for everything else, Snipes should quit instead. Oswald said after that confrontation, Snipes refused to communicate with Goyer directly. After a while, he, he resorted to just. Give, he would communicate with, with uh, post-its that he would give to the director, and each one he would sign Blade. So. Blade Trinity came out well over a decade ago, and it could be that Snipes has mellowed with age. Regardless, Marvel will probably try to recruit some impressive directorial talent for their new Blade film, and doing that will probably be easier without a lead actor you can't even get to use his words. Come on, use your words, buddy. It could be that any concern about Wesley Snipes returning to play Blade is baseless, but that still doesn't change the reality that we got to see Snipes play Blade in three films. Bringing him back to the role would waste the marvelous opportunity of finding a new actor to give a different shade of Blade. Mahershala Ali is a tremendous catch. We don't know much about the film yet, including its release date, but we know plenty about Ali's talent. He's got two Academy Awards for Best Actor in a Supporting Role under his belt, one for 2017's Moonlight and another for 2019's Green Book. He's brilliant as political consultant Remy Danton in House of Cards, as well as the villain Cottonmouth in the first season of Luke Cage. Any Marvel fan, any Blade fan, or just any person with even slightly good taste should be thrilled about the casting. It looks like it looks like you brought your own hat, Mahershala. You did? What is that? <laughs> just because Wesley Snipes won't be returning as Blade doesn't mean he won't be in the film. When it comes to paying tribute to writers, artists, and actors, Marvel Studios has a fine track record, and there's no reason Snipes couldn't fill another role in the upcoming Blade. One perfect choice could be the role of Whistler, Blade's mentor slash father figure. Chris Christopherson played Whistler in the original film trilogy, and Snipes could be perfect casting for the rebooted character. How do you feel? Like hammered. We're not the first ones to have the idea. Immediately following the news of Ali's casting as the new Blade, Snipes fans reacted quickly. Many accepted the new casting, but with the preference that they wanted Snipes in the film in some capacity, even if it was just a cameo. And more than a few fans named Whistler as a perfect fit. Since we know Snipes talked to Marvel about something, this may already be in the works. In a couple of years, we could see Snipes yelling at Ali for saving vampire bite survivors and chain smoking while spilling gasoline all over the place. Whatever his reputation for on-set shenanigans might be, you've got to give Wesley Snipes this much. After the news broke that Marvel had hired Mahershala Ali to play the rebooted Blade, the OG Daywalker took it publicly in stride, waiting a few days for things to settle down before talking to the press and assuring his fans that he supports the studio's decision. Snipes addressed his fans in a statement, writing, in part, To all the Daywalkers losing their minds right now, chillax. Although the news comes as a surprise, it's all good. Such is the business of entertainment. Much peace to the MCU crew, always a fan. Congratulations and salam to Mahershala Ali, a beautiful and talented artist whose expressions I look forward to experiencing for many years to come. 
Whether Snipe's magnanimous reaction stems from a secret involvement in the new Blade or simply some good old-fashioned maturity is anyone's guess at this point. Either way, it looks like everyone's happy with the way the future of the franchise is shaping up, even if the man who originally brought the central character to life has ended up losing the role in the process. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.